Hey, it's Tony with The Code Guys, and today I'm going to do an overview of App Inventor for Android. It's a Google Labs project in which you can build an application for your Droid phones, and um, it's really slick. It's a great way for beginner programmers or somebody that's trying to get into app making for mobile phones. Um, to get started, it's um, got a really unique editor, and I'm going to show you how to get started. You want to go to Google and search for App Inventor, and you're going to pop up to this get it, Getting Started page, and uh, just click Get Started. And depending on what your OS is, you're going to have to set up your computer, and um, you want to install the software for your uh, respective OS, your Linux, your Windows, your Mac OS. Um, I've done the Mac and I've done the Windows recently and um, it's pretty straightforward. You download a zip file, you apply the zip file, it creates a App Inventor program files or a applications uh, directory and there's um, one directory you need to be looking out for and that is inside the program files uh, or the um, application directory there is a um, directory called or a folder called commands for app inventor and you'll need to copy and paste that into a dialog box that pops up when you uh, get further in so um, that if you click on these instructions for Mac or Windows that is um, highlighted in this locating the setup software that's going to pop up when you uh, go to the uh, block editor I'm not sure if this demo will show that but I'm gonna pop over into the editor editor I'm not going to show you the install because it's pretty straightforward I had a little bit of trouble with the Mac OS install um, only because when uh, the I had to reboot my system for some reason, but the package finally did install. It's basically, um, you know, three clicks and you're done. So um, I'm going to jump over to the editor, which I'm already opening, and um, this is what the editor looks like. It's got your basic uh, tools, buttons, canvases, checkboxes, clocks, um, and then there's other components that you can drag onto this uh, display that looks just like your um, mobile phone. The great thing about this is um, as you drag things over, I'll go to the um, Java-based block editor. There is a block of code that looks like a puzzle piece. Now, um, this is very similar to the Lego Mindstorms programming language for that. Um, I think based on um, the built-in um, modules that this must have something, there, there must be some relationship to that, but I, I don't really know the backstory. Maybe in a later video I'll highlight on that. But this, uh, you basically build <coughs> these puzzle pieces that um, are just blocks of code, and it's really... Um, neat because you nest each little item inside of another block of code and it makes it really easy if you're just getting started um, programming to um, kind of conceptualize what you're going to be doing later on when you're writing real code. So uh, in this situation we have a button and um, the, it's actually uh, doing a label dot text setting a label.txt to a call of this do math function. And it's just something uh, that I was going to use for a tutorial. Um, you do, uh, I'm going to hop back over to the, uh, the editor. You can um, use images, uh, you can use all sorts of things, and um, then once you're finished, you can use an emulator to test out your code or you can hook your Droid or in your um, Android-based phone up and um, package it for your phone here. When you do that, it will actually move the application to your app, to your apps, and you can run it right there on your phone. And it's really cool because you can 
prototype uh, your applications and quickly get them onto your phone for testing. Uh, it's very rewarding as far as being able to quickly prototype something and get it out to your phone uh, quickly. Now, um, this is just an overview. I'm not going to go into anything um, detailed, but um, you can your components that are on your screen show up in this right uh, components pane and you can rename them so they are easier for you to track in your in your uh, block editor now the block editor is uh, and and maybe other components are java based so you are going to have to uh, get uh, the latest java that it requires and um, it manages all that for from the uh, Google site. So uh, give this a try. It's um, really great if you're just getting started, like I said, just getting started programming. Um, and uh, even if you're looking for uh, something to quickly get uh, some code over to your uh, Android phone, uh, this is not the best app. But um, the one thing that I did like is that there are certain... Uh, modules that you can even uh, if you go to other stuff there's things like barcode scanner built in there's a speech recognizer there is a text-to-speech and it's really easy I mean I, I've got a text-to-speech right here and um, anything you type in this text box this button makes it speak and um, it's just a embedded text-to-speech um, API that you can put text in and and literally this little block right here is all that is required to fire that um, text-to-speech off so once you get familiar with how the uh, the the uh, built-in blocks work you can write some really cool apps so I'm gonna end this now and uh, check it out it's at App Inventor uh, search in Google for App Inventor and you use your Gmail account. I'll show you how it stores your projects. Um, your pro if you click on My Projects, all your projects show up no matter where you are logged in. So um, you can edit this on a Mac and then go to your other laptop and change it. Now, you want to make sure you save your projects before you switch um, your browser because I have read that if it, you're in if you're in transition and you open up two browsers, obviously you could corrupt your projects and you don't want that. So check it out. It's a great app. I'm really excited about it. Um, I've played with it all day long, and it's a uh, it's really going to be something that I'm going to use time to time just to mock up some prototypes and uh, come up with some ideas. So. Thanks for watching. If um, you're interested in this, please leave us a comment and subscribe and uh, tell us what you would like to see us flesh out as far as um, the App Inventor uh, application or the editor. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.